Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at configuring file shares using uh, Samba. Let's have a look at the objectives first. So under Samba, you need to be able to provide network shares to specific clients, provide network shares suitable for group collaboration. The usual um, configuration around network services, such as SE Linux, uh, installing the correct packages, and even um, configuring uh, the firewall correctly also applies. So we'll do the uh, following uh, to set up Samba. On server one, we'll set up a Samba share that will be used as a normal Samba share. Uh, another Samba share that will be used as a multi-user Samba share. We'll also create some Samba users. On server two, we'll mount both shares automatically and we'll do some testing as well. Okay, let's get started. So this is the IPA server. Let's pick up some uh, Kerberos credentials. So we'll add a couple of users here that we'll convert or use as some users on server one. So IPA user add, first name SMB, last name user one. Let's call this SMB user one. SMB user two. Okay, let's give these uh, users password. So IPA pass WD and then the username. So SMB user one first. And then SMB user two. Okay, so that's all we need to do on the IPA server. Let's go to server one. First thing we need to do is install Samba packages. So let's see what Samba packages are available. So if we do a yum search Samba, that will list packages with Samba in their name. Okay, the only one we really need is Samba, to be honest. Um, any dependencies will be installed automatically. So yum install Samba. Let's uh, enable the services. So system CTO enable SMB and NMB. Let's start them as well. Let's configure the uh, firewall to allow some access. So firewall CMD permanent add service permanent add service samba do we need to reload so firewall hyphen cmd reload okay let's uh, create a couple of directories that we can share out as samba so make the smb and smb multi Let's open up the permissions. You probably wouldn't do this in a production environment, but this is just for the exam. And we also need to do the SE Linux context. So SE manage F context, hyphen A to add, hyphen T for type is Samba underscore share underscore T. And the file path, so first SMB. And SMB multi. We 
we do need to run restore con to uh, apply this new context so restore con rv smb and smb multi okay let's do a listing permissions are wide open and samba context is also there good let's have a look at the main config which is in etc samba smb.conf I'll show you the global section under here you can change the workgroup name the interfaces are samba listens on uh, which networks to allow access to so let's change this to id fountain right this hosts allow you can use to limit which network can access your shares you can do this on a global basis or per share basis at the bottom of the file there is an example um, share called public you can use that as an example or a guide uh, for setting up your own shares so let's create the first one smb let's uh, give it a comment normal samba share Path is just SMB. Writable is no, and we can explicitly specify who has right access. So let's give SMB user one right access, and that's all we need to do. Let's restart the services. There is a utility called test palm that will um, go through the config file to check that it's all okay and also show you what the configurations are. So there's our share here. Okay, let's go to server two to do some testing. Mount.sifs uh, allows you to mount um, Samba shares. This is not installed here, so let's find a package that has this and install it. So if you do yum what provides star slash uh, mount dot sifs, that will tell us what packages we need to install. Not sure why that's happened. Let's uh, give it another try. That looks better. Okay, so the package we need is sifs utils. So let's install that quickly. Yum install sifs utils. Okay, let's uh, try mounting the share. So let's create a directory. Uh, let's call it SMB and we'll mount the Samba share under here. So mount T SIFs for slash for slash server under example.com. The name of the share is SMB. Mount your other SMB. Option username or user Samba user one. Uh, I'll give it the password. Ah, I don't think I created the Samba users yet, so let's go back to server 1. To add a new um, user, it's SMB pass WD hyphen A to add, and then the name of the user, so Samba user 1, and give it a password. Okay, let's give it another try. And great okay let's check our mount so mount and then let's grip it on sifs and there we go there is our share mounted with username some smb user one let's change to smb user one this user should have read and write access 
So let's navigate to that directory and see if we can create a file. Okay, all looks good. Let's create our second Samba user. So SMB user 2. Okay, so this user should have read access but no write access. So if we change to this user, let's go to the directory. Okay, so we have access. And we can check stuff. Great. Can we create anything? We shouldn't be able to. Let's check. Okay, good. So that is working as expected. Let's uh, go back to server one and create our second share. So etc, and not to FS tab. Let's get out of here. etc samba smb.conf. Okay, so let's create our second share here. We'll call it um, smb multi. All this multi user Samba share path is a slash SMB multi. I write it will again no, and then we'll explicitly specify write list. So that will be let's give this to Samba user 2, SMB user 2, and read list SMB user one okay let's save this and restart the uh, services let's do our test palm again and okay there you go so we have a read user and a write user so we can test this on Server 2. Let's create our mount point and we'll call this SMB multi. Okay, so mount t sifs server1.example.com slash SMB multi. And we have to specify a few options here. So the first option we have to specify is obviously the user so let's do smb user 2 for write access and then we need to specify multi-user and securities ntlm ssp okay so let's change to uh, smb user 2 now in a multi-user share um, permission has to be given using another utility called sif creds this package is provided by sif uh, siphon utils which we've installed for mount let me just show you the permission on um, the share we just mounted there's nothing at all here so it's uh, completely inaccessible so what we need to do is use sif cred to add our um, password in. I'll show you the options. So Sif Screds add uh, you by default you would use the username you're logged in as so well in this case because we used SU to use it too that's what it will use. So and then the server name server one example.com and give our Samba password here. Now if we do a LS you'll see that we have 
we can view it. Okay, so let's uh, test it. Let's create a file. We should have right axis. Okay, looks good. Let's uh, change to user one. Again, we need to use Sif Scred, so there you go. Listing shows no permissions, so let's add our credential in. Okay, it looks better. We should be able to read as a user one, but to not be able to write. So let's try create something. Okay, so that looks all okay. Um, what we also need to do is be able to mount these shares automatically at boot time. In order to do that, we need to add the definitions into etc fs tab. Now we don't want to be typing our passwords in etcfs tab, so what we need to do is create a text file with the credentials. So username for SMB, we're using SMB user1, and the password is just password. And then for SMB multi, we'll mount this as uh, SMB user2. So username SMB user2. And the password is again password. We'll change the permissions on this so it's only read or by a root. Okay, and now uh, we just add the definitions in um, FS tab. Let's start with the first one slash slash server one dot example dot com slash SMB and we'll mount it under SMB. Type is SIFS. Options just defaults, and also we need to add credentials equals and then the path to the file which is root smb.txt. And then we need to do the second share which is server1.example.com slash smb multi mounted under smb multi. Type is SIFS, credentials is root SMB multi dot txt. We also need to add multi user and sec equals NTLM SSP. Okay, let's save this. Let's unmount the uh, shares. So unmount SMB, unmount SMB multi. Let's check our mounts. Okay, no sieves mounted. Let's mount all. And this mounts everything in FS tab. And there you go, the two shares are mounted. I would reboot just to test that it works as well.
Okay, that concludes the video for SMB. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's some detail, uh, contact details below. Drop me a line if you have any questions or suggestions.